We've had some truly disgusting results under Van Hal. 4-0 against MK Dons, 3-0 against Arsenal, 3-0 against Everton, 5-3 against Leicester when they were a relegation contender team. And I've, I've just never, ever, all of those results combined are not as bad as this. Purely because it's fucking Liverpool. You have to show some passion, some desire, some fight. Was there any of that? No. It's it's as though we're playing a team like West Brom and Sunderland again. And we lose against those. But we're treating it like that. There is literally zero motivation. I couldn't tell that was supposed... That is our greatest rival. I couldn't tell that. I really couldn't because the players didn't show it. Not in the way they play. You win some games, you lose some games. Fair enough. Even if it's against your bitterest rivals, you'll still eventually lose. And you've just got to take that. But the manner of defeat is just unbelievable. Liverpool played us off the park. We had nothing going for our team apart from David De Gea. If he wasn't there, it would be 5 or 6 nil. And that's what's so irritating. We were shambolic. We literally created about two chances and we were just pathetic. I didn't understand the lineups. The like yeah, you've got you've got it down on paper as a 4-2-3-1, but what the fuck is it actually? When you see it played, it's dragged across the park. There's just no cohesion. There's no uh, there's just no logic behind it. That they're all all over the place. And when you're looking at the manager to try and give some motivation, I know it's only the first leg, all right, but it's Liverpool. I don't give a shit. You don't lose these games. But, well, you don't try and lose them. I mean, the, the thing that tipped it off and just shows, shows that he was happy with a 1-0 defeat is he changed it to a 3-5-2 at half-time. He subbed off Rashford, who I'll get on to in a sec, for Carrick. He subbed off our only... Striker, even though he wasn't played as a striker, but our only default striker for a centre mid who's passed his best. And I, d I just don't understand it. We were playing for the defeat. We were playing to keep it as low as possible, to not get humiliated, which would have happened if we didn't have David De Gea in net. But with Rashford, his reward for saving that cunt's job is play being played on the wing, a position he he's played for the under-21s, yes. But is it his default position? Is it something he knows well? Is it something that he's going to do in a, really well in a new role against Liverpool? When, you know, we've got a, a team that isn't exactly full of um, experience, shall we say. Is he, is he going to do anything on the wing where he's never really played for the first team? It's his, what, fourth, fifth game? No, he's not. Why wasn't he played up front? And then when we went 3-5-2, it looked as though fucking Mata was being played up front alongside Martial. And Memphis was in the number 10 role. You've got Daly Blind playing as a centre-back. He's our best passer. He literally is Carrick. Last season was brilliant. He was our best passer, but Carrick is way past it this year. He, he was terrible. And fair enough, he was being played as a fucking centre-back. What is it with a good passing midfielder? Why does Van Hal insist on using them as defenders? They are not defenders. They are midfielders. Their job is to find the players going up front. They're great at passing. They can get the through balls in. That is why we, we get stifled so often in attack because we've got no one that can find these players. Maybe they don't make the run sometimes, but if you don't have good passes, you're not going to find the players up front. But what am I on about? What am I on about? We, we don't pass through the middle, particularly in this game we didn't. All we did was punt the ball up to Fellaini. Now, I think Fellaini gets way too much criticism. And to be honest, most of it isn't really his fault. He might be a donkey, all right? He might be a player that you just... It just is, is so prone to error. But when the tactic is literally focused around Fellaini, he's obviously going to get criticism because he's the one who's getting the scapegoat. Like he's being scapegoated because the main tactic revolves around Fellaini. So if he fails... It's Fellini's fault. And I feel sorry for him a bit. I really do. And it was obvious Fellini was going to start because Herrera picked up a tiny knock. But if that was Blind, who, yes, has been decent. Or I don't like criticising Blind too much because he's not even in the position he wants. But Blind gets favourable treatment. No matter if he's in the red zone, he'll still play when he needs rest or whatever. There's other players like... That, that just get overlooked constantly and then you've got players like Fellaini and Blind who seem to be able to do whatever they want and they'll still play. I don't understand Van Hal. What does he what does he see in 
in this team, like, how can he not rejuvenate it? I, I just don't understand. I don't understand Van Gaal at all. I really don't. These players have unreal ability. We've seen that at their various clubs. It, it's too many players for them all to be terrible. They've had some terrible performances, but he is it. Van Gaal's job is to get the best out of the players, and he's not because they're struggling to understand what tactics they're, do, what what formation they're supposed to be playing, what tactics, who they're supposed to be passing to, when the overlapping runs are supposed to happen. Like, there's no game plan apart from punt the fucking ball to Fellaini. And how many times does that not work? How many times? Is it like Moyes again when we had 87 crosses, one tactic, and when that doesn't work, try and try again until it doesn't work again. It it might only be leg one, but we're 2-0 down. We're 2-0 down, and if Liverpool get an away goal, we need four goals. Four goals. Now, we've been masters at producing results when no one thinks we will but this surely is beyond us i hate seeing this i do not want to say this it's liverpool i despise the twats honestly i hate liverpool with a passion but you've got to be realistic and say 90 percent we're out we're out and looking at the way we're playing Liverpool are going to overtake us in the league this season and this is the position we've left ourselves in and this was down to not sacking Van Hal in December letting it run out, play out and now literally we've got the FA Cup all right, we're, we're, the FA Cup and we've got West Ham and West Ham are not an easy team we might be better at home but oh, oh, just please end the season just end the season and uh, I'm sorry these reports that he's being backed in the backroom staff are a load of shite. No way is Van Hal staying if he doesn't get top four or doesn't deliver, well, Champions League football, which isn't going to happen if we don't win Europa and it's not going to happen if we don't get top four. So fuck off, Van Hal. Hello, Jose Mourinho.